This unboxing is Basketball Town by Scott Rothman, illustrated by Darnell Johnson, and looks like basketball. It is published by Kennewick Press, and here we have Maxwell who loves basketball, and when he wakes up, it's Basketball Town. Um, so here's a kid who just lives, sleeps, and breathes basketball. And so I don't know if is, this is a dream he's having. Um, but I guess everyone in this town, they do nothing but basketball, so they're all quite good. And when he shows up, even though he loves basketball, he's not quite at their level. Um, so he gets to go to this basketball school and learn, you know, all the sort of techniques, pick and roll, alley-oop, crossover, dribbling, and even dunking. And he still needs to work on his three-point shot. Okay, that's not an easy shot, but he keeps, he keeps working at it and he gets, he's, because he's trying to go to the championship so maybe to make the team that goes to the championship. Um, but anyway, and so he is finally at the championship game. Oh no, it's that worst scenario uh, where it's down to the buzzer and it comes down to a free throw. Oh, the pressure. And oh, nothing but net. Um, and I don't know if he wakes up or if he's really in here. No, I, it is a dream. But, um, you know, it's like learning in his, through his dreams to enjoy what he loves the most, basketball. But then also, I guess he gets a taste of what it takes to be, you know, a champion. Which is, um, I guess, practicing all these different things. And, we, and here we have basketball words and skills um so this is definitely i have a basketball book list so i'll add it to this uh because my elementary school um in march march madness we actually have a competition that is a literacy one so it's called march madness and everyone every um classroom in the elementary school draws a team from the ncaa um, and that's your team and so if your team does well you know progressing and winning then you get points for that but you really get the most points by every single kid reading um, and they do it differently by age but usually it comes down to number of pages um, and so they just try to make it more fair because little kids can read picture books which have less pages and older kids can read you know middle grade um, and so anyway it comes down to who has the most points and it's a whole month of reading. And honestly, it really truly gets kids reading. Like they get obsessed with filling out their daily um, sheet of which books they read and how many pages. And then the winner, you know, the winner actually only, the, the winning classroom, the prize honestly is just an extra PE session um, with the beloved PE teacher, Mr. Nye. Um, so that, isn't that so funny? It's like, it's a, it's a non-monetary prize. It's, you know, probably instead of a period where they would do academic work, they just get to, um, you know, and I, I don't even think it's basketball. I think they just get extra PE session. Um, but you should see them reading obsessively. And it's kind of also scheduled strategically. The teachers do it because it, it's a bit of a lull. They're like, March is a really long month. There's no holidays. There's no vacation break for us. Our, our breaks are in February and April. And they're kind of getting everyone into the reading mode because the standardized tests, you know, start like a month later. So it's, it's really fun and pretty easy. I have it on my blog. I'll put it in the down box of how they set up this um, March Madness reading competition. But anyway, a book like this would be a star. Um, you know, to read in the classroom to kick off March Madness reading competition. So anyway, thank you so much to Kennelwick Press for sending me this book. And thank you for watching.